Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. My name is Roy and today I will be listening to Croatia. Yes, Croatia has 18 songs that are participating in their national final. Uh, and today I'm going to listen to the first nine of them. Uh, last year they, did, they, they didn't make it. They just didn't quite make it. But I have some faith in them. I think they're on an upward trajectory. Ever since they went back to Dora, step by step, they had a better national final. So let's see if they can continue that trend. Today, I'll be listening to the songs from the following artists. Uh, Crescio and Kisela Kishe, Maya Grcic, uh, Borostok, The Splitters, Marta May, Patricia Gasparini, Hanna Masic, Harmonia Dissonance and Top of the Pops featuring Maria Rekovic. Yes! If you're excited for those, let me know in the comments down below and this is the video for you. The others, I will discuss in this part two. I don't know when that will be because it's a busy time, but you'll get it eventually. Either way, uh, let's get right into the songs. I am really, really curious. The first song that I'll listen to is by the artist Crescio and Kizela Kizje. The song is called Kmekme. This is Croatian probably, so I do not know how to pronounce that. Uh, either way, let's find out how that sounds like and let's click play. Starting off with a bit of punk rock perhaps? Hmm. Okay. It does seem to be like some sort of punk rock kind of song. Um, I love the addition of the trumpet, I think that's quite fun. It does seem to be a bit old school, Brad's. Um, I'm a massive rock and metal fan. But I'm not necessarily a big fan of the more older kind of sounding genres. Uh, I'm, I'm more of a modern rock slash metal guy. Like, give me metalcore any day of the week. Inject it. <laughs> okay? You know, it is very fun, like, I can imagine this being performed on the stage. And they can give an extra dimension to it with the singing and stuff, and their personality spreads. That would not shine through in this video, perhaps. <laughs> What's this ending? <laughs> oh, I like it. That's a really cool start to the video, I enjoy it. Some nice punk rock to get us up with. Um, is it the best song out there? No, but it's already something you could send to Eurovision and might do decently well with. It is a bit on the older side of things, so... You know, it's maybe not the best punk rock song out there, but yeah. I quite enjoyed it. It was a fun listen, uh, and I might even turn it on again. Yeah, who knows? Let's go to song two. The next song is by the artist Maya Grgic. The song is called I Still Live. Let's click play. Hmm. You can fall in the sea. The, okay. Shine among the stars. These lyrics are a bit odd. But you know. Sometimes you get that a little bit when you're not natively English. Okay. Okay, I have an instrumental breakdown, it seems. With an um, electric cello. Yeah, the pace at which she sings it really isn't that good. Um, it's a bit uncompetitive. Um, that's fine, it's cool that she's in the selection. If that was her goal. It's not something you should send to Eurovision though. Okay. Yeah, it's just a bit uncompetitive. That's all. Um Yeah. I don't really have much more to add to be honest. Uh let's go to the next song. The next song is by the artist Boris Stock. The song is called Grie. Let's find out how that sounds and let's click play. You know, I'm gonna tell you this much. I am not a big fan of how the lighting is at the moment. Um, it's quite late in the day. At this point, usually I'd already try to upload a video, but I have an exam tomorrow. 
So I took the afternoon to study so I could record right now. But not the biggest fan of the light. While it was quite a nice day outside, usually I get like light from my window. But oh well. Oh hey. I quite think it's voice. It's, it's got something intriguing to it. It does struggle a little bit to really keep me hooked. And that's more with the orchestration of the song, rather than with him or his voice. I think orchestration is a tad bit weak. Oh, that's it. Oh. I did not say much to that song. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, yeah, it, it kind of just went by. Um, I do enjoy his voice, it just never really grabbed me that much, I guess. Um, which is not the best if you want to grab a lot of people to vote for you. Right? Right. Um, let's go to the next song. The next song is by the band The Splitters. The song is called Lost and Found. Let's find out how that sounds like and let's click play okay the start which very much focuses on him oh okay okay I was about to say I expect a bit more than just a ballad I expect some sort of rock or perhaps jazz I do dig his voice quite a bit though, that's a good thing. Okay. This is very enjoyable, not gonna lie. I, I can picture it's on a Eurovision stage as well, which is a bit odd, perhaps. Like, it's very stageable. I'm quite surprised by this. I quite like it. Wow, I actually really quite enjoy that. Good job, the splitters. Good job. Um, yeah, honestly, like that could be something that they could send and stage well, and you know, focus on the singer, then move and pan out towards the band a little bit. It would be very fun. It would be very, very fun. Either way, let's go to the next song. The next song is by the artist Marta May. The song is called Distance. Yes! Let's find out how that sounds like and let's click play. We were besties, you and me, talk of everything so free. We were besties, you and me. Yeah, good start. Okay. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is, this is new fire desire. I wire kind of song. God. Your existence. I know I love you from a distance. Resistance. Woo! Yeah. Um, the beat is quite decent, but the lyrics were really, really bad, weren't they? Um. Let's move on. The next song is by the artist Patricia Gasparini. The song is called I Will Wait. Well, I will not wait because I will listen to the song. Yes. Let's click play. The mixing is a tad bit off, you already noticed. The voice uh, doesn't sound as clean as it usually would be. And the B doesn't either. Okay. Not too bad. Is it Eurovision worthy though? I don't know. Okay. But I will wait. You know, it's very stageable, it's very... By the books. That's really the thing with this song. It's very much by the books. Change. You know, it's quite enjoyable, but it's very much by the book, so does it excite me personally? Not necessarily. Um, but it's not a bad showing from her, not at all. It's just, would you want to send this to your version then? I don't know. I think I've already heard it better. Um, 
Yeah. Let's go to the next song. The next song is by the artist Hanna Marsic. The song is called Nestrecha. Yes, let's find out how that sounds and let's click play. Okay, it seems like this will be a bit of a ballad with some cool instrumentations. I mean, we can already picture this, can't we? Just fully focused on the face. Her being in the moment, singing the song. Okay. Yo, if she can sing well live, this can stand out. Okay. I would perhaps add a bit more instrument here. Okay, burst open, please. This you really need to see live. I think this has quite some potential, actually. Ooh. And then end it with a whisper. It's a bit, perhaps, like Montenegro or Eurovision last year. Um, a bit on the slower side, it could use a bit more impact, perhaps. But not bad at all, it's definitely something sendable. Uh, and depending on the live, it could really grow on people. I think when she can live this well life, definitely some potential to make people like it more and more. So, let's wait for that. I can't wait. Um, let's go to the next song. The next song is by the group Harmonia Dissonance. The song is called Nevera, between brackets, Lai Lai. Always important to keep those brackets in. It's a weird phenomenon. It's, it's a weird phenomenon, brackets. Either way, let's find out what this sounds like and let's click play. Okay. This is kind of a white voice kind of thing. Or is that still a bit different than this? Let me know. Of the introduction to the instrument there. Okay, a drop. Okay. You need to hear this live, I think. At the moment, the mixing is a tad bit off, but I can see the potential. I like the pace of it though, it's really good because. When I've had wide voice kind of thing, it was usually quite slow, and I think that was hindering it a bit. And this beat is quite decent too. Like, I can picture dancing on the stage with like nice dresses. Yeah. Okay, so it's a breakdown. Trap breakdown. Definitely a random trap beat. Screw the counter, by the way, I'm not doing it anymore. It's fine. Yo, I dig this. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It will really depend on the life. Sometimes this kind of song can fall a bit flat when it's not perfectly performed live. But it could also be very much the opposite where it gets elevated live. So I'm hoping for the latter because I see a lot of potential in this. Is it quite there yet? I don't know. I really, 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 really need to see that live performance to really be able to tell you. <laughs> That's it, really. Um, but Croatia, this this has some potential, guys. This definitely has a heap of potential. So yeah, I hope they were able to distract that from it. Let's go to the final song. The next song is by the, I guess, group Top of the Pop. Uh, together with Mario Rekovic. Why is there a five? Is that a typo or is that just really a stage name? Because I don't know how to pronounce five in Croatian. Uh, the song is called Puto Vanje. Let's keep play. Ooh. I feel like this could be something that I like quite a lot. Oh, that's a cool voice. Oh. Oh, I'm not a fan of this chorus. If this even is already the chorus. I'd assume so. Okay. 
weird ear <laughs> addition. It's got a ring to it, though. It's got a ring to it. Okay. This speech kind of thing is an odd addition. I can see this growing on me, though. Okay. That was quite intriguing, not gonna lie. Um, I wouldn't immediately write that off, but is it the best song out there? I don't know, I perhaps had hoped for a bit of a different chorus. Either way, I quite had some fun with that one. Yes, what do you think? Uh, yeah, let's wrap up this video. That's what I think. And there you have it. I listened to the first nine songs of Croatia. Uh, Dora, of course. I just was struggling. I was digging for the name. I was like, what was the name again? <laughs> Dora. Um, I'm gonna give it top three. Yeah, I think it's fair. I think my third place. Ooh, that's difficult. I'm gonna make a tied third place to the first and the seventh song. The first song's being Kme Kme from Kresho and Kizele Kizje. It's kind of a punk rock song. It's a tad on the older side of the punk rock, but it was still very enjoyable. And I always dig myself some rock. Uh, Hanna Masic, very much potential. We really need to wait and see how it will be performed live. Um, same kind of goes for my second place. I think I'm gonna put Harmonia Dissonance there. Um, very much got a lot of potential, but I really need to hear the live. The mixing wasn't quite spot on. So it was a bit drowned out, everything, like the instruments and the voices. So I think this song could grow on me the most in the live performance. And I hope it does, because it's quite cool to have a song like that participate and represent your country if it wins. Uh, but I think my favorite from this bunch is by The Splitters. I quite enjoyed his voice. I thought the beat was quite enjoyable. I thought the song overall was quite enjoyable. Like, I really enjoyed that song. I might even <laughs> add it to my playlist. Not gonna lie. Um, who are your favorites? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, do you think Croatia could qualify with these songs? Let me know as well. And if you're excited for part two, subscribe to the channel. But there's also more because we get some mad selection soon. Uh, I've heard a lot of good words about Finland. That's coming on Friday. On Thursday though, we start with Portugal and on Saturday we also have another Portugal episode. And on Saturday we have Lithuania as well. Yes, a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot to do for me, yay, but it's fine. It's fine. I love it. I hope you love it too. I have an exam tomorrow as well. Uh, I still need to study a little bit for it as well, um, but hey, hopefully I'll be fine. <laughs> um, yeah. I hope to see you in the next video. But for me, today, goodbye.